What's up, everybody? It's been a little bit of time since I've seen you guys, so uh, let's just get a few things out of the way here. For those of you guys who are new, my name is Angus. On this channel, I do... Well, technically, I haven't done anything since I haven't posted in so long. But if I was to post on this channel, I would do vlogs, edits, and then sometimes I'm trying to do some tutorials on that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's basically channel overview right there. If that sounds like something you guys would be interested, then uh, throw me a follow, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for more content. Now getting back into it, for those of you guys who have been to this channel before, it's been a while since I posted. I just wanna, I guess I give you guys some updates on that. So I've just been really busy with lots of work, I guess, and um, trying to catch up with that. It's a it's a work in progress. It's a lot harder, like, I don't know. I used to always make fun of YouTubers being like, oh, it's not even that hard to put out content every day, but it's really hard. So, wow, the voice cracking again, jeez. Okay, so I figured, um, you know, the best way to start getting back into YouTube and stuff like that and doing this is to ease in with some easy videos. That way, it helps me to at least just get in the groove of making them again. Today, I'm going to be answering a question that a lot of you guys have had recently, and that is about softwares. What software do I use for video? To start out, to clear things up, I did start out all my videos using iMovie. It's a free software for Mac or whatever, iMac, phone. I'm no longer using that software anymore. I moved away from that. So for all you guys asking, if I use iMovie, I don't use it anymore. When I was doing the tutorials, on iMovie I was still using iMovie but I've since moved away from it because I just I needed more abilities than the program had so after that I stepped up to Premiere Pro and the whole Adobe Creative Suite so that's what I'm using right now that's what I use for all my videos on YouTube or client work and stuff like that and I think it's a really good program because you get like all the dynamic link between After Effects and Premiere Pro and it's actually not as complicated as you might think if you've been looking at Premiere Pro or any of those things and you're thinking, well, it's just too hard for me. I don't want to get into that. Or I don't like the workflow. Like, trust me, it's not as hard as you think. I thought the same thing too. Like I looked at Premiere Pro and especially After Effects, I looked at both those things. I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing here. This is horrible. I'm never going to learn how to use this stuff. It's so hard. And then within like a few months, I was starting to get the hang of it. And then with like a year, I was really starting to like master my flow, my workflow in the program and really starting to learn a lot of new things. And now I think Premiere Pro and After Effects are not easy, but they're a lot simpler to use and they're not as scary as I thought originally. So just keep that in mind if you have the money, but if you're on the other side of that and you're thinking, well, I don't have the money for that, then there are some other options that I'll tell you guys right now that I've talked about on this channel. Hit Film Express is a pretty good one. It's similar like workflow to Premiere Pro, I guess, and doesn't really have, it's not like, it doesn't have a crazy amount of effects that you can use and stuff like that but as far as like editing goes for cuts and layering videos and adjustment layers and stuff like that, it's pretty good. It's a lot nicer than iMovie, I think, because it, it, I don't know, there's a lot of problems that I found in iMovie that they just dumbed the program down so much that it's just so frustrating sometimes that you can eliminate by getting this free program, which is Hit Film Express. I'll leave the link in the description for that. Um, none of these companies are paying me to say any of this stuff too, so it's not like an ad or anything. So. Those, you know, those are the options and that is what I'm editing on. A lot of you guys have been asking like, oh, what did I edit my recent Hawaii video on or my hockey videos or anything? Um, the answer to that would be Premiere Pro and then all the effects or transitions and stuff that I do are in After Effects. So that's one more thing I will mention. If you have the money and you wanna do effects and stuff like that, Premiere Pro and After Effects are the way to go. Final Cut Pro, I guess is cool. I don't know. I don't know anything about Final Cut Pro. It looks cool. I've seen people do the same effects, but I don't know how to work it. So I can't say anything about that. Like I've never even looked at it except for like maybe in the Mac store when looking at like the computers that I can't afford to buy. So, um, yeah, I guess I, that's all I would say I'd recommend. If you, if you really want to take your editing game and stuff like that seriously, you should consider stepping up to at least, at least if anything, like another free program, like hit film express, because iMovie just, it's good, but it's kind of frustrating in my opinion. It's, it's not gonna cut it if you wanna do like professional work. So um, yeah, hopefully that answered your questions in as short as time as possible without sounding like, like I was going crazy fast. I don't know, I think that's it. I don't really know what else to talk about. I don't really have any, I'm trying to think if I have any updates for you guys before I leave, because I don't wanna just end it on that. Um, other than that, I've just been, you know, grinding, waiting. I think I got some cool stuff coming up for you guys. I think I really wanna bust out some content in the summer, so. Yeah, got a couple more like tutorial videos, I guess, for you guys, answering some more questions that you've had over the time, since I've seen a lot of these roll in on the comments. So I'm gonna try to answer those in videos like this, and then uh, we'll just go from there and see what we get for content. But um, that's gonna be it for, <laughs> that's gonna be it for today's video. So if you guys liked it, please make sure to leave this video a like. Um, if you still have questions about softwares, what ones you should pick, 
or any other questions that you might want me to answer in another video that you guys have been like itching and I haven't gotten to your comments, leave those down below as well. And like I said before, if you're new to this channel or if you've watched these videos and you just haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button for some more content to come for sure. And until next time guys, I will see you then. All right. Hold on, let me get this, let me get this app loaded up on the Ronin here, whatever this thing is. All right, see you guys then. All right, peace. Oh shit, wrong direction. You know what, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with that. Okay. Take it easy guys. Wait a minute, that's somebody else's intro. Uh, I'll just see you guys some other time, all right. Yeah.